Summer Capsule Wardrobe, my closet essentials for 2022. If I could only have 28 items of clothing on my rail, what would they be? And how would I style them together? That is what I will be sharing with all of you today. My edit of the perfect summer capsule wardrobe with no less than 28 outfit ideas of how I would style it together. Also coming up a little bit later, Beauty Pie have sprinkled their pink magic on my beauty essentials with one beautiful box full to the brim of skincare and makeup must-haves. It actually felt like Christmas opening this box, so I can't wait to show you all everything I picked. But first, let's start with the top. Tops. Simple tops. Starting a summer capsule wardrobe can feel like you're climbing a mountain, especially if you're a fashion maximalist. Today I'm here to show you what I've chose for my perfect summer capsule wardrobe and far from being limiting, just how easy this makes putting outfit ideas together. So first of all, I've included two really high quality vest tops and one camisole. One vest top is quite plain, but beautifully made and in that lovely tone for summer. One has a really interesting neckline that I can dress up or down, and the third is made from 100% silk. Now note that all of these options are made from really high quality fabrics, and none of them are actually too dramatic which then in turn allows them to be mixed and matched with all my other outfit ideas really well. When it comes to capsule wardrobes, you have a lot of flexibility with daily wear. These are the clothes that you spend most of your time in, so you should make sure that the selection is really streamlined and matches well. You want all of your tops and your bottoms to work together, creating endless options and styling combinations. A vest top or cami would work just as well with relaxed car keys as it would say with a smart but casual midi skirt. Dress it up with strappy heels or down with flat sandals and a beach bag. Maybe layer a shirt over the top for a lightweight layer or a jumper over your shoulders for just an added bit of texture. My two belts are also key here as these two options add different details to each outfit. And as you'll see throughout this video, it gives the illusion of more garments when really it's just different combinations. Style tip. The best way to achieve cohesive daily outfit ideas is via a neutral color palette. Minimizing loud colors and prints really allows you to match more garments together, giving you more flexibility and ultimately more outfits. Side note, random swerve, but can you just ignore how bad my fringe looks today? <laughs> I've been cutting my own fringe for 23 years and I made that schoolboy error last night of cutting it when it was wet. I personally really like my fringe to look like this, pretty much falling into my eyes. Not like this, the sort of fringe my mum would have done for me when I was at school and I was about 10. I am willing it on to grow very, very fast. T-shirts, blouses, and shirts. Going through your wardrobe with a fine tooth comb is really the best way to work out what you do and what you don't wear. And I find a seasonal wardrobe bit of a purge essential. It clears the decks and feels good to give away clothes for a new life elsewhere. And it works wonders on creating your outfit ideas each morning. So onto t-shirts, blouses, and shirts. I've added a Breton stripe top, of course, ever a devotee of Parisian style. But thinking of outfit ideas, I think I could wear this with virtually every single bottoms I have on my rail. So an easy big tick for that one. And the same goes for a classic white tee. Style it with jeans, dress it up with tailored trousers, and if you've gone for quality over quantity, it'll work perfectly with everything. Now I found it hard to edit down my blouses, especially as a lot of them are from Cezanne, which I really, really love. But in the end, I went for a timeless and feminine blouse with this classic broderie anglaise top. Now I often style it quite casually, but it's so pretty, it's very easy to style for work too. And as versatility is the key to a capsule wardrobe, this one won in the end. Shirts are a firm favorite for me in summer as I tend to use them in a few different ways. I've gone for one in organic cotton poplin, which is the one that I'm wearing, and the other one in linen both of which keep me cool in the heat and the perfect layer if the weather turns. I've always been a fan of the concept less is more. And I think one of the key things to remember when dressing like this is to be careful what the fabric label says. Choose your fabrics wisely and you'll make even the most simple item feel sophisticated and elegant without very much thinking at all. Style tip. When it comes to the office, the key takeaway is don't be afraid of outfit repeating. 
This could go for all different sections, but it's paramount when it comes to the office. Often we want to be seen in as many different outfits as possible. But while you might remember what you wore, say, a week ago, I bet money on the fact that nobody else will. If you keep mixing up your pieces, a blouse with your skirt one day, a shirt and a belt the next, they'll remember that you always seem to look chic and very put together, but they won't remember the specifics of your outfit. Do let me know in the comments section who else is a fan of outfit repeating. Has anyone actually ever noticed that you're wearing virtually the same look as say a couple of days ago or maybe you have a style tip that you'd like to share with the other subscribers it's always really lovely hearing everyone's different thoughts now before we move on to dresses shall we just have a little skincare and makeup moment with this beautiful box of goodies that I was very kindly sent from Beauty Pie now I'm going to start this by saying Beauty Pie's reputation preceded them I have a couple of friends who are obsessed with this range my lovely friend Sheena particularly has been a devotee for quite a while so I do actually feel like the last person to know about this gem of a beauty collection but I'm very chuffed to have got to it eventually now if you're not familiar with Beauty Pie they offer a membership to their collection, giving you access to laboratory direct prices. Effectively, they're cutting out the middleman. Now for us, that means we get the same high quality products. They're actually using a lot of the same beauty labs as the other high-end brands, but because there's no wholesale to retail markup, it means we get to purchase those items at a fraction of the price. I think we've all probably experienced and grown tired of the beauty industry's insane markups over the years, which I think is why Beauty Pie has become such a cult favorite. And having received my first box of goodies, I can definitely see what all the fuss is about. Beauty essentials that actually work, they won't blow the budget, and they feel amazing on my skin. Now last night, for instance, I took my makeup off with the Japan Fusion Cleanser, which to be honest, gave me a glow all on its own. I followed with the Youth Bomb Serum, which feels amazing on my skin, and finished with the gloriously rich, but not greasy, Happy Face. I think it's safe to say I had a lovely pamper session. Now those products alone with traditional markups would cost me about 270 pounds, but with Beauty Pie's membership, it was 67 pounds. Can you believe that? It's quite scary really how normal markups work. And not just from a price point of view, the products themselves feel beautiful on my skin. So much so I've actually signed up, not a gift I might add, but with my own money for the year's membership for myself. Today, I have used the triple hyaluronic, I struggle with that word, acid serum, followed by the Featherlight SPF 50 sunscreen and primer. Then I use the sheer tinted moisturizer, which is lovely. I really like that texture on my skin. You got a little bit of SPF in that too. And then I did the Archology for my brows, followed with one of the nicest face powders I've honestly used for a very, very long time, and a touch of cream blush to keep that subtle flush glow that I really like. Now I suffer with eczema and so far, fingers crossed that continues, I've not been irritated by any of the products at all, which is quite amazing for me. And the overall effect of the makeup is light and dewy and just really glowing, which is just the way I like it. As one would hope, I do have a discount code for you all, which will give you 10 pounds off the year's subscription. I've added that plus a link to have a browse of the Beauty Pie range in the description box below for you to check out at the end of this video. Now though, let's see about those dresses. The dresses. Dresses and summer are my kind of thing. So I've actually included five options into my summer capsule wardrobe. They're perfect for days when you don't want to mix and match or when you want to opt for something a bit more feminine and floaty. The brown dress. I'll get to this topic in a moment, but I think it's really important to not forget those really unique pieces, even when it's a capsule wardrobe. Those original items that might not necessarily be super on trend right now, but they're totally, unapologetically your personal style. Items like that always deserve a place on your rail. Hence the addition of this Parisian dress that I wore a couple of years ago, and I am never throwing that one out. I love it. The white dress. For chilled summer days and something that I intend on wearing on repeat on our holidays, I've opted for a classic white sundress. I really, really love the shape of this one with those little puff sleeves and how it nips in at my waistband. But thankfully it's not skin tight and having been made from 100% cotton, it will keep me cool in the heat too. The blue dress. One of the best and most simple dresses that I've bought recently would be this tube dress that I'm wearing in the navy. Now I really love to style it quite casually with flats and a straw bag, 
but it's so incredibly versatile that I think it works just as well, a little bit more elevated with heels too. And utilizing some of the shirts that I've got in my capsule wardrobe as well makes it a far more accessible outfit for meetings or out and about in town. Dopamine dressing is currently quite a thing, so you could recreate this look with something a little bit brighter if you prefer, or stick with neutrals like I do for timeless elegance. The other blue dress. Hopefully we'll all be attending summer parties this year. From garden parties to barbecues, it is the season for laid back party wear. Now you don't want to be too hot, yet you don't want to be too casual either. A pretty summer dress always ticks the box for me. And this lovely one that I got from Karen Millen recently, I think fits the bill perfectly. For a style conscious edition, take your more formal dress like this and really let it shine. I'd normally style this one with flat sandals, but for something a bit more dressed up, I'd maybe add block heels, tie in that tone with my bucket bag, and you could even add a tan belt too if you wanted to just add a little bit more structure. Style tip. Summer party dressing obviously depends on how formal the event is going to be. Consider how much you'll need to dress up to create the perfect balance. If you need to add more formality to the look, don't panic by last minute. Look at the summer dresses that you already have and see if you can update them a little bit with accessories, maybe a belt or a clutch bag or some heels. You don't have to give up shopping to create a capsule wardrobe, but instead of panic buying, try and consider each option really carefully and and ensure you can wear it in say at least three different ways. Sustainable, easy and fashion forward. The tan dress. A late addition to my summer capsule wardrobe for this 2022. But this dress that I got recently had to squeeze in there. I love this shade. The easy breezy shape and made from 100% cotton, meaning it'll be breathable in the heat too, which is much needed with our little heat wave going on at the minute. Bottoms. I must add actually that this is my perfect summer capsule wardrobe. What I would take on holiday would be slightly different as that's obviously out of my norm activity wise. So if you would like to see a dedicated holiday capsule wardrobe, do let me know in the comments section below and I'll make sure I film one of those too. Now as a fan of trousers and a nice top, my capsule wardrobe wouldn't work of course without some great bottoms. And if I had to really edit it down to those key pieces for my rail, this is what I would choose. I've chosen three pairs of trousers for summer 2022. One pair made from 100% linen for when it's really hot outside and I just want something super breathable. Thanks to you lovely lot of subscribers, I finally decided on adding the gorgeous emerald green swimsuit to my wardrobe and I love how it looks styled as a body underneath these trousers. I've reused the belt and added it through the belt hooks on these trousers and I think that really pulls the look together. Please do let me know what you think of this outfit in the comments section section below. Now obviously it's not one to wear everywhere, but certainly a look I would wear on holiday in the sunshine. My green khakis are an old but perfectly formed regular on my channel that are thankfully still in stock. Now I've put these in my trouser section, but I guess they could also be in the jeans section too. Either way, I love the fit. And styled with this super unique blouse, it feels a laid back but chic daily outfit idea for me. And the third trousers that I opted for are made from a linen blend, but they're slightly thicker in feel than the first pair. They also look a little more tailored, so would cross over well for smarter occasions or perhaps for workwear. While as you can see here, crossing over equally well for everyday chic. Now I tend to opt for trousers like this, a little bit bigger than my usual size. This just gives me more versatility on ways to wear them. I can cinch it up higher on my waistband with a belt or loose and lower without. Now I don't tend to wear a lot of skirts as you've probably gathered on my channel, but I have added one which I love because of the soft silhouette it creates. I like this one styled with most of the tops that I have in my capsule wardrobe, particularly my cami and flat sandals. But for workwear, I would dress it up a little bit like this. It's simple, yes, but I really think there's beauty in those little details. Now being a jeans lover and living in England, of course, I've added two pairs into my summer capsule wardrobe. If however you live somewhere hotter than me, you might want to just go with one or none even and add in another skirt or two instead. But needs must in this country, I'm afraid. Plus I love the look of jeans for everyday wear. Now if you're wanting to dress up your jeans a touch, I really like adding in my blazer. This one is made from 100% linen, so it really works in the heat and combined with that little silk cami underneath, I know that I'm not going to overheat in the sunshine. 
High-waisted jeans do help elongate your shape, and I like to do a little bit of a turn up to accentuate that, showing a little bit of skin around my ankles. Again, not going skin tight with those jeans enables me to wear them in different ways with a belt sat higher on my waist. Now, white jeans are a firm favorite of mine throughout summer and actually winter too, and I'd say they're a must for my capsule wardrobe. Now these are a looser fit than my blue version, but they're oh so very comfortable. I love the juxtaposition of these fairly boyish jeans with something very pretty on my top half. One of my unique pieces, again, that just really suits my personal style. It's frilly and it's girly and probably not everyone's cup of tea, but I love it and that's all that matters. Shorts. Alongside trousers and jeans, I'm also adding in two pairs of shorts. It is summer after all. I've gone with a casual pair and a smart tailored pair, giving me versatility for any occasion. Now Bermuda shorts are currently having a fashion moment. And while I have seen this look lovely on some people, it can look frumpy on others. Now I personally prefer traditional short lengths. They either have pleats or detailing that makes them feel unique or maybe lazy beach day California kind of vibes. I think choosing shorts is a little bit like choosing jeans. Forget what the current fashion trends are saying and opt for what you feel Feel nicest in. Your cost per wear will thank you for it in the end. Style tip. Play around with your styling on trousers and skirts to see which can transform from day ready outfits to evening wear styles. That's often how I'll happen upon some of my favorite looks that I might not have otherwise thought of. And when you do find a look that you love, take a quick selfie in the mirror. Over time, you'll have your own visual mood board that you can look to when you're in a rush and you don't know what to wear. Unique pieces. Now I've mentioned a few times about unique pieces, so it's about time that I show you properly what I chose. Now my thought process behind this section is about making your summer capsule wardrobe truly about you. While I love all my neutral tones and really simple classic shapes, I also love to sprinkle in those pieces that are just that little bit extra special. Those original pieces that inherently say who I am. This tiered ice blue blouse you saw before, which I love styled with jeans or maybe with shorts, the camel maxi dress I showed, which I will always include in this section in summer because I love it. And this beautiful and quite colorful for me blouse, which I bought recently. Sometimes we just spot pieces in stores that speak to us. They're not particularly on trend, they're not necessarily in the color of the season, but there's just something about them that we can't resist. I tried this one on and absolutely fell in love with it. The shape, the bohemian print, the lightness of the fabric all just add up to being everything I love and want in a top. So for all those reasons, it definitely deserves a place on my summer rail. Style tip. While it is hard deciphering between a lust piece and a must have piece, it's not altogether impossible. When I spot items like this, I try and force myself to wait on the purchase. Stew on it for at least a couple of days. And then if it's still playing on your mind and you can already think of a few different ways you would wear it, it's probably a worthwhile purchase. Knitwear. Knitwear for summer? Don't be alarmed. Knitwear is included on this list for any of the cooler days, evenings, and those great British summers that we have a tendency to have. Though I don't want to jinx the latter because so far it's actually been quite good. So I've added three summer knitwear pieces into my ideal capsule wardrobe. These are all made from knitted cotton, so much lighter than my winter picks. One is a cardigan that I'm actually wearing here as a jumper. I really love the intricate stitch detailing on that one, elevating it from plainer options. However, going for this in a crew ensures it blends with my color palette that I already have on my rail. If the evenings turn cooler, I'll be pairing this cardigan with a sleek cami and maybe denim jeans. This is a go-to outfit for any casual event that looks great styled with heels or maybe laid back with converse. Now I couldn't leave out my striped knit, probably my most worn piece all year as it happens. It's been made from knitted organic cotton. It feels amazing against my skin and it goes with virtually everything I have on my rail. Here I'm making the most out of this navy dress again and making it look like a skirt and vest top instead with the addition of the slouchy jumper over the top. A great look for relaxed beach to bar kind of evenings. And last but not least on knitwear is something very casual and as cozy as a comfort blanket. I love this one. New in my wardrobe recently and already worn on repeat. 
I tend to wear it over my gym kit when I've done my workout. Comfy but elevated tonal with my white jeans and I shall be utilizing it as a cover up on my summer holidays too. Style tip. If you live somewhere with a similar climate to me, I would definitely keep at least one piece of knitwear in your capsule wardrobe. Try and steer clear of lamb's wool and mohair and instead opt for cotton knits that will be more breathable and cool in the heat. Inevitably, we all need that extra layer sometimes. Jackets. I've completed my summer capsule wardrobe for 2022 with just two jackets. One in lightweight denim and the other a linen blazer. While not everyone will need a jacket for the season, I personally find them invaluable to have on my rail. Often it's not just about needing an extra layer either. I just simply like that finishing touch that some jackets can make. Now I really love this Accru denim jacket. It's light enough for spring summer, but being slightly tailored, I think it brings another element to the classic. I opted for this one in Accru, but I do also have it in light blue. I've got the dark blue and I've got a blush actually. If you want to embrace a summer 2022 trend, swap your light summer jacket for a leather or leather look one instead. This hits the motorcycle jacket trend and it'll elevate your casual style for evening summer parties. Though don't blame me if you get really really hot in it, we all have to suffer a little bit for our fashion. A linen blazer is another staple for me in summer. I like it styled with shorts and a vest top, with my midi and a cami, with jeans to elevate the look and here as you can see over a dress for a sprinkle of polish. I love this low key style. I feel sophisticated and put together, but the combo of flat sandals with the simple jersey dress makes the overall feel relaxed at the same time. Now I haven't actually included shoes and bags in this edition because in truth, I tend to keep the majority of my accessories in my wardrobe year round. I don't have so many that I find it really overwhelming, but if you do, an edit might be a helpful exercise. So there it is, that's the entire contents of my ideal summer capsule wardrobe for 2022. Instead of rummaging around in a packed closet, I could use this streamlined list of 28 pieces to create all my summer outfit ideas. Now, if you're starting to collate your options, here are some key tips to remember. Once you've sectioned off a mound of clothes, relax, the hard part is done. If you thought about color palette, different occasions and temperatures, you're ready to start mixing and matching your outfit ideas. Settle on a color scheme before you even start. If you have a vague color guide, it will be much easier to match different pieces. Don't overdo the prints. While I love the odd statement piece, a capsule wardrobe is about cohesiveness. Prints tend to isolate garments to one or two different outfit ideas. Think about fabric content. If you're planning on curating a summer capsule wardrobe to last you for years, opt for cottons, linens, and silks. These fabrics offer cooling properties and they last longer than synthetic alternatives sustainable over fast fashion wherever possible. Consider different events too. It can be easy to end up with a completely casual or a completely formal wardrobe. Instead, think about what you'll need most and create a balance of comfortable daily options and a few dressy evening picks on the side. This goes for shoes too. You don't need countless pairs of heels in your wardrobe. If you haven't worn it in a couple of years, it probably shouldn't be there. Consider fit and comfort. There's no point wearing anything if you don't feel your best in it. And less is more. Words to live by in my humble opinion. Hopefully this video has shown that you can create an awful lot of outfit ideas with just 28 pieces on my rail. And with a few styling tips and tricks thrown in for good measure, you will look effortlessly chic and stylish while you're doing it. Now I've selected those key pieces that I would choose for my summer capsule wardrobe. I'd actually be interested in seeing all the different outfit ideas I could mix and match just using this rail of clothes. So do let me know in the comment section below if that's also something you would like to see. A big thank you to Beauty Pipe for supporting this video. Don't forget to click the link in the description box below. And if you do decide to sign up too, there's that discount code for you there as well. And a huge thank you to all of you for all your support. I always say it and it sounds really gushy when I do, but it's true. You make this channel special and I really love our little community that we've created on here. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and have a wonderful week ahead. See you on Sunday, everyone.